All right. Start with games fast. We'll begin in five, four, three, two, one, go. The following program may contain content that some viewers find offensive and may contain flashing lights that may trigger seizure for those who for this Alright Jeff, let's see what you got. Please oh my god, look at that quality! Alright Jeff, let's see what you got. Hold on, let me fix this goddamn webcam. Okay. Alright, we're good. We're good, we're good. And hopefully no intruders this time. Just like what happened last year. Last year's um, Summer Game Fest and Hello, everybody. Welcome the to game Summer was game Fest uh, in 2022. You ready to see some video games? All right, Jeff, let's see what you got. We are so thrilled to be here with you. And this is a showcase of what's next for games live from the YouTube theater here in LA. Now, if you're watching this show, first of all, welcome. I know everyone around the world is joining us for this special moment. And I know if you watch this show, you don't just play games, you deeply care about this art form and the health of this industry. The good news is that we have a lot of amazing games to show you from creators around the world mm. over the next two hours. Okay, so it'll be a two hour program. Neat. Hold on. But let's also face it, this has been a tumultuous and difficult year with company layoffs and studio closures. Oh yeah. Disappointed all of us. Oh yeah. But there's also something else happening. Tango Game Our industry is evolving and changing. And thanks Shout to, out to Tango Game Works. Smaller teams and new creators are finding incredible success. Take a look at this list from Game Discover of the top 10 best-selling new games on Steam Whoa. so far this year. Two top 10 new games are considered, you know, big company games. But the other eight come from indie, mid-sized teams, or solo developers. I look at this list, it's pretty cool, right? And I get inspired that new ideas, new teams, and smaller creators can and will break through. It's a reminder well, to big to companies that they have to treat their developers right because today there are many paths to sustainability and success. And that's what makes this industry so, so great. Wow. How and you'll see that reflected in the show today because over the next two hours, we'll have big franchises on stage like Star Wars, Batman, and Harry Potter, but Wait, also Harry Potter titles, get a new game? including a few games made by single individuals and first time creators that we invited to be part of this show because we think this platform is important as a way to show you new things that you might not even know about. So when you see a game that piques your interest, yeah, I've got a, please wish you gotta let even the, better, the indie developers shine, as a matter of fact. Excited. That's how we together can grow the gaming community. And we are going to do that today over the next two hours as we have a lot of games to show you, plus Day of the Devs directly after with even more indie titles. So should we get to the games? Yes, please. All right. It all begins right now. Here's our first announcement. All right, first announcement. Next. PlayStation. Uh, hey, look, this is a oh, Kai, Lego. For the, um, ooh, the lead and unannounced action game. Wow. We see you as more of a sidekick. Oh, sure. I get that a lot, but uh, check out my range. Okay, okay. Mm -la -la -la. Rage! Empathy. Oh, hilarity. <laughs> this guy. Strength. Oh. Ow. Hey, what game is this anyway? Oh, wait. Hey, I'm here. <laughs> Where have I seen this game before? Wait. I gotta get me one of those. That looks like um that what the the main character for Horizon. Who is that? That hot dog guy is Aloy. An ah, Aloy. Game. Right, 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 right. Thunderjaw went mad in his territory. So wait, Aloy. So wait, Horizon getting a Lego game of some kind? A lonely hero, hunting machine. All by herself. Hello, I have friends, you know. Let's do this. Uh, right, a friendly hero hunting. Lego Horizon. Okay. Hey, whose side are you on? Exploring. And there's friendly fire as well. Collecting all the shiny things. Woohoo, money! And making a home. 
this is probably a more heartwarming um, Horizon game. Oh. Okay. Lego Horizon Adventures. Available on PS5, Nintendo Switch, Steam, and Epic Game Stores. Coming holiday 2024. Yo. Well, that's kinda neat. There you go. Wasn't that fun? That was Lego Horizon Adventures coming out later this year for PlayStation, but also day one on PC and Nintendo Switch. It's a playful, lighthearted story inspired by the world of Horizon designed with two-player action in mind, supporting couch and online co-op. All right, now we're going to completely shift the tone to the next game from Torn Banner Studios, the developers behind Chivalry 2. For their next project, okay. they are proud to announce No More Room in Hell 2 the sequel to the 2011 award-winning source mod. Eight players start separate in the dark, and it's up to you to find your friends and survive with permadeath. Here is the first look. Okay, we have a real premiere of a new game by Torn Banner Studios. And hold on, I'm pretty sure I set the video at 4K, right? Yeah, it's a 4K. Oh, why? But some of the footage... I noticed some of the footages are kind of a bit pixelated. Okay, looks like it's... This better not be some left or dead. This. This better not be uh, left or dead. <laughs> I'm getting. Oh. Permadeath. Oh, it's a player co op. Massive. Too fast. Oh, so it's eight. No more room in hell too. Available on Epic Games so and uh, Kevin this Steam. Halloween looks really, really intense. All right. To introduce our next game, please join me in welcoming someone who I've known for over a decade. She's been a huge fan of some of our reveals like Street Fighter VI a few years ago. And of course, Curious Final Joy? Fantasy VII Rebirth last year when she was sitting in the audience. Well, this year, she's joining us on stage. We're thrilled to have her with us. Please welcome Curious Joy. Curious Joy. I'm pretty sure she's co-hosting, or she's just a guest uh, around here. Thank you, Jeff. Hi, everyone. I am so excited to be here at Summer Game Fest. I'm here with you today to share some even more super fun trailers. Steve would be happy so when he let's get straight sees to another world premiere. This is a highly anticipated game from a beloved franchise. Let's take a look. From a beloved franchise. As young witches and wizards, we all dream of soaring through the sky like Harry our favorite Potter? heroes. Yeah, it looks like Harry when Potter. When it comes to Quidditch, we've all wondered, do I have what it takes to be the next Quidditch star? Genie? To beat your toughest opponent? To keep your composure in the face of adversity? This reeks of um, EA. This kind of reeks of EA. But then again, isn't the um, no challenge is too great. Isn't all Harry Potter no games dream. being handled by EA? From what I understand. You ask yourself, do you have what it takes? Do you have the heart of the Quidditch champion? Magic is in the air. Harry Potter Quidditch Champions. September 3rd. 
That's Harry Potter Quidditch Champions launching worldwide on September 3rd for consoles and PC. Now we move from the Potterverse to a brand new world. It hails right. from a single developer, Gavin Eisenbeis, up in Seattle, who has been making games all by himself for a decade. His wow. last title, Choo Choo Charles, was a fan favorite, and he showed me this next game a few months ago, and I really wanted to debut it here. Get ready to backstab, race, or cooperate with up to 20 of your friends. 20 play bus. game? <laughs> I assume this is an indie game. Because I... Uh, Jeff, did you say that this is a single... A single developer game? So it's best to assume that this is an indie game. Camera's a little shaky though. Camera's a little shaky. Yeah, camera's a little shaky. There goes the helicopter. Huh? Cough bust. Okay. That's a fun one, right? And remember, that's all made by one person. Congratulations, Gavin. So glad to have that on stage. But to be viewed, the, the camera right. is kind of shaky, though. Next one of this year's most anticipated games is Star Wars Outlaws, coming out on August 30th from Ubisoft and Lucasfilm Games, the first open-world Star Wars game where you live the life of a Ubisoft. scoundrel. On Monday at 12 p.m. Pacific, you'll get to see a full gameplay showcase during Ubisoft's Forward event, streaming as part of the continuing Summer Game Fest events. But right now, we've got an exclusive new glimpse at the game, just a small taste of what's to come. All right. Okay. A friend needs a little something stolen. Let's raise the stakes, shall we? When was this announced? I have absolutely no recollection to be real. I mean, I would admit this sure looks good, but. We're already at a point where we should get moving. Visuals, good, great visuals doesn't really matter anymore because people demand um, gameplay over graphics. I think I spotted Lando there. So great. And by the way, I'm just noticing everything we've shown you so far. I think is going to be you know coming out uh, you know this year. Cuff bus. I'm not quite sure, but it's like it's so cool that there's stuff that we're gonna get to play in the next few months here. All right, well, moving back to smaller teams, a few weeks ago, I had a chance to play through this next game, and I have to say, it is really spectacular. Neva comes from Nomada Studio, the creators of the game award winning game, Grease. It chronicles the story of Alba, a woman bound to a curious wolf cub. Here's your first ever look at the gameplay. Okay. Nomada Studio.
and I believe for like what? Oh, we're 17 minutes in? And he's available off easy. Trust me, that game is such a true work of art, especially when you get into some of the combat. It is tons of fun to play. And there's much more coming later today in the Devolver Direct, which will air directly after Day of the Devs on this same stream. So we've got lots more for you. There's a right, Devolver next, Direct? It's time for our next game announcement. All right, what's next? Study the past if you would define the future. Architects of fate. Yeah, I noticed. I noticed that some of the the, the footage are kind of a little pixelated. Prepare. Wait. Or on the last great journey, fair. I recognize that voice. Let me not then die ingloriously and without a struggle. What? Is this Let Age of Empires? Great thing that shall be told among men hereafter. Each of us shall endure this world's life until the end. This looks like Age of Empires. Your names shall not be lost. So it shall be. Yeah, I'm seeing. Oh, Sid Meier's Civilization Seven. Okay, watch the gameplay showcase this August. Hello, everyone at Summer Game Fest. On behalf of the Firaxis team, we are thrilled to finally announce that Civilization Seven is coming day and date to PC and consoles next year. I'm in awe of the amazing team that has brought us to this moment, but we also have to thank you, our incredible fans around the world, for your overwhelming support of this franchise for over 30 years. We can't wait yeah, to I share see more. Some of, some of the, we hope you'll join us the, the, later the, the, this the, summer for the full a portion of the picture of kind of pixelated. Seven. In the meantime, which means that the, the the stream the stream itself is 4K. But the footage that the developer sent is probably around 1080p. Wait! Wukong? Is this Wukong? Yep, I think it's Wukong. Yep. Well, Jeff did show a, a, a bit of um, Wukong in his trailer after all, so... I kind of expected to see um, Wukong in Summer Game Fest, and nine other, and there were nine other games that um, that Jeff showed in his trailer. As a matter of fact, so it better be another gameplay trailer or some kind. Whoa. Black Myth, Wukong. Nah, just a small trailer. August 20th. I was expecting gameplay trailer though, but... Whatever. Meta Quest. Oh, a VR game. So they've already shown Wukong. 
And I believe there's nine more then nine other at least nine other games that um that has not been shown yet, but let's guys wrath, okay. Perhaps humans were fated to build the monoliths. Reaching heaven and returning with a gift. Please do not tell me this is the war fantasy. Oh, I'm but wrong. Sorry. Was given more than it wished for. Not progress, but chaos. Every new height brings a terrible fall. Starry Studio. And yet hope still glimmers, even in the depths of the unknown. Like yeah, I noticed that the the, the trailer is a little pixelated. There's pixelated at the at, at the edges. Smallest creatures show the greatest resilience. Wherever we remain standing, we stand. Once together. human. Okay. Next. Samsung Gaming Hub. Okay. One new games, Starfield, classics. I see Street Fighter 2 in there. Warhammer. No console required. Samsung Gaming Hub. Have any of you faced Tyranids before? Only these past Warhammer. Days. Then there is much to learn. The numbers are endless. Oh, hammer's face, we mean. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen a um, few trailers before this. All right, welcome back to Summer Game Fest. Uh, we've got some amazing developer guests joining us throughout the show, and I'm very excited to introduce our first guests. They are legendary creators who are working on a brand new fantasy RPG metaphor slated to launch this metaphor. October. Oh, Atlas! Please welcome the director and art designer of Persona Atlas. 3, 4, and 5. Katsura Hashino and Shikanori Shojima. The guys from uh, um, Atlas. I mean, even the Asta literally screams um, Persona. Granted, it's not a Persona game, but still. Thank you, everybody. It is a pleasure to be here. My name is Hashino, and I am the director of Metaphor. It is a pleasure to be here with Mr. Soejima. This game is an RPG in which the party members transform into their jobs, which we call archetypes. These Archetypes allow you to fight against your enemies. Okay. So basically, every character has a chance. Unlike Persona, where they summon their Persona or their stance. So they're going something different for once. Archetypes are the embodiment of power born from the will to face your fears and anxieties. We gave it our all to instill each and every archetype with a feeling of strength and uniqueness in each of their designs. In total, there will be more than 40 types of archetypes available in the game. These archetypes can gain experience and even evolve. Some of them can evolve into stronger versions. あの、結集させて作っています。とても大きなボリュームのゲームです。あの、今日はあの、このアーキタイプをテーマにした最新のトレーラーをお持ちしました。ぜひご覧になってください。ありがとうございました。I heard you trailer. Thank you very much and we h
Oh. It is said that we all have inherited heroic virtues deep within us. The reality is... We oppress. We fight. A great evil flows through this land. You have found a way to wield true magic. Even the animation literally reminds me of a uh, persona as a matter of fact. Right? Many more protectors and followers will gather to your side. I won't be surprised if the cutscene animation is done by A1 Pictures. Who are who are in charge of adapting the, you the, must acquire more the persona animes. And bring them together. Interesting power. An archetype whose existence was only theoretical. You wield power now. Oh. Available October 11. Cool. Cool. Such an honor to have Hashino and Shojima with us uh, on stage. Thank you guys, and for that deep look at the archetype, such stunning visual designs. Now we're going to jump into the Arkhamverse. Batman Arkham Shadow is a MetaQuest 3 exclusive VR game coming later this year. Oh, it's a VR As game. As Batman, you face a new threat, the mysterious Rat King and his cultish devotees. Here's your first look at the story trailer for Batman Arkham Shadow. Oh, it's called Arkham Shadow. But the thing is, it's... It's a VR game, not actual gameplay. But... There's a new darkness overtaking Gotham, driving the city mad. The only light left is from the fire in the streets. Is this Kevin Feige? Shadows of rats on everything that was once good. Fear is their weapon. But they're not the only ones who can use it. Gordon. The Rat King will stop at nothing to destroy my city. How far will I go to destroy him? Batman, Arkham Shadow. Yeah, it's a VR game. Tune in for the official gameplay trailer at Gamescom. Gamescom? When the bat falls, the rats rise. When is Gamescom again? <laughs> oh, right. You have Joy back on stage. I am looking forward to heading back to the Arkhamverse. Now, it is time to update fans on a legendary fighting game franchise. Oh! And that includes me. Street Fighter? Because I have been a fan of this series ever since one of its first iteration and have been playing each one ever since. So, Yeah, we know, we all know that Curious Joy is a, is a fighting game content creator. Wait, what? City of the Wolves? No, 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 no. Street Fighter. It's Street Fighter. Luke and Jaime. Wait. Terry? Uh, uh. My? Oh my god, my looks so good. Lina? Wait. Bison. Wait. What's going on? 
but they redesigned Bison. Bison has been redesigned. Bison, Terry, Elena, and Mai will be a play. What? What? Hold on a second. Terry and Mai will be on Street Fighter 6? Along with Bison? Excuse me? Capcom, you better not be fully, you better not be foreshadowing uh, Capcom versus SNK3 sometime later in the future. They're definitely planning a, they definitely Capcom is definitely planting the seeds for a Capcom versus SNK3 sometime later in the future. I can foresee it because they SNK literally gave. Um, Capcom, they be like, hey, you know what? Let's put Terry and Mai in it, because why not? But still, holy, holy shit. And Bison coming back? That's huge. That's fri fuck freaking huge. Holy, holy moly. Capcom is definitely planting the seeds for... Uh, Capcom vs SNK3 sometime later in the future. Oh, now we have a... Uh, fucking uh, Zillow trailer. Dragon Ball fans might enjoy this. October 11. There you go, Internet. Neat. We got your release date for Sparking Zero, October 11th. Now we step into the world of Delta Force Hawk Ops, a free-to-play tactical shooter available to play on all platforms. Here's a look at their multiplayer FPS extraction mode. Team, rally all right. We've got a new mission, Operation Lightning Strike. The situation at Zero Dam is now very serious. The conflict's escalating between Havoc Corps and Alsara Guard. It's time to take action. Objective. Collect and decode the Mandelbrick, located at the tourist center at the southeast region. We need to utilize terrain for stealth insertion. Execute swiftly and silently. We're in position. Looks like someone beat us to it. We need to pick up the pace. This looks like Call of Duty, and yet it's not Call of Duty.
Delta Force Hope Ops. But that is not all. The game's premium campaign mode, Black Hawk Down, is a reimagining of the original game that is also fully licensed to recreate moments from the award-winning Ridley Scott movie. Here is your world premiere first look at that gameplay. Okay. Another shooting game. Delta Force Black Hawk Down. All units prepare for landing. Two teams, one foot. Clear. Secure and capture a team in your cabinet. Over. Get down! Get down! We need ten. Prepare to fight. Enemy vehicles coming. Vehicle under attack. Hold on. I'm writing down uh, what other separate trailers did. I might need to upload on my YouTube. Just give me a sec. Oh, Joy is back. And now, I have an update for you on Fatal Fury City of the Wolves. Wow! <laughs> for real this time. Okay. Wow, Joy really announcing all of them fighting game trailers. Well, that's, which is kind of neat. Consider the fact that she's a fighting game content creator from what I heard from... Steep Legends of the Past. Are they gonna announce a release date in this um, showcase? Oh, Cherry and Rock. Oh, Janice confirmed. Box Reaper. Okay. I just realized, no sign of Mai though. Will Mai be in this? <coughs> Coming early 2025. Okay. So they announced two new characters, and one of them is um, Janet. And then again, Janet is a uh, did appear in King of Fighters 15. And as a matter of fact, right the. the the trail is a little too short. It's a little too short. Kind of wish there's more from um, Garo City of the Wolves, though. I kind of wish there's more. Four K two forty. How big is the screen, though? Is it twenty seven or is it thirty two inch? What's this? More indie games, I guess. This looks like a fighting. This looks like an indie fighting game. I might be wrong. Because to be real, I'm not really into. Indie games in general. But yeah, this really screams that this might be a fighting game. Could be a platform fighting. It could be a platform fighter. Or something like. Um... Yeah. It's something like. Poseidon. What was that one game that was released? D K O. I forgot the full name of that game, but I might have to check that out later on. But, but yeah, the game looks something like this. Oh, the name is Better Crush. Switch, Steam, and on mobile. Okay. What's this? A new mecha game. A 
Okay, what the hell is this? You gotta be curious already. Wow. Gameplay really reminds me of um, Gundam Extreme vs. and Armored Core. And I'm still waiting for the day that Gundam Extreme vs. will be available on PC. Mecha Break. Okay. We're back here at Summer Game Fest, and that was a look at Mecha Break with its immersive aerial and ground combat with lightning fast maneuvers. Next, Jason Blum and his Blumhouse banner have become synonymous with incredible horror films over the years, like Get Out, Megan, and last year's Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, now Blumhouse is entering the video game world in a big way. All right. From the studio that brought you Finite FADs and the Black Phone. Alright, well, let's see what you got. Now what? Uh, Chrysol. Dark times await us. Theater of Idols. Vengeance will take shape. Okay. Brave season. I cannot sleep. I cannot sleep. I must not sleep. Sleep awake from I ice out. I fight to sleep, and I am scared to death to stay awake. Don't worry, Viv. If any ghosts actually show up, I'll protect you. Fear the spotlight. Amy. I'll save you, no matter what. Just go home, Viv. Amy! The local police department asked me to help with a case. Why would they need a game designer? Okay, this session is definitely for horror game enthusiasts. Sam Barlow. Project C. Dark times await us. Interesting. Very interesting. Next. Please welcome Jason Blum, CEO and founder of Blumhouse, and Luis Blaine, creative lead at Blumhouse Games. Okay. Hey guys, so we got ourselves a full slate there. That's incredible. So, so Jason, tell us a bit about uh, why did you want to get into games like this? What are we doing? Well, we've been uh, very, very busy. Um, I'm very happy to be here. Thank you for having us. Thank you guys all. Great to hear uh, the fans out there. Uh, you'll, you'll all be very happy to know we're working at this very minute on the sequel of Five Nights at Freddy's. It's coming. Don't worry. Anyway, horror is, uh, to my great relief, getting more and more popular. Our movies are working. It's working on streaming. It's working in live events. And we wanted to try and take our approach to movies and apply it to games. And that's what you see here. We're going to do independent games. We're going to look for creators and give them a platform and, and encourage these creators to be weird and subversive and find the most effed up, scariest things they can and put them into really <laughs> cool games. <laughs> Well, they, they look they look great. It's a really diverse, cool slate. Uh, Luis, tell us a bit about, we saw a bunch of games there. What can you tell us about kind of the overall lineup of games? Well, as you just saw from our slate, our horror games are a lot like Blumhouse movies. They come in many different flavors of fear, which means there's a horror game for everyone. So maybe you're a fan of nostalgic 90s experiences with a bit of a twist, intense first-person shooters, or maybe, Jeff, you just want some bonus murder in your otherwise very cozy farming sim. 
I think, you know, we as horror fans, we know that there are so many different subgenres to explore. And our independent development partners, they feel the same and they're just as excited, which means we've got psychological nightmares, we have supernatural scares, we have cosmic horror. And our team has worked really hard to work with global, creative, talented partners. And that means for us that we really want to as we're working in indie projects, yeah. which means that we can take what risks, happened? you know, we can be flexible, and really we can push the limits of what's possible in scary storytelling, and we're so excited. Yeah, no, it, it looks looks awesome, all the stuff you have there, and I know, you know, we'll get into when games are coming out, but some of these are coming soon, Jason, right? We got a good slate. Well, of yeah, we're on, uh, we're on PC and console, and, um, and, uh, yeah, we wanted to start with uh, with not just one, but we wanted to start with a few games. So, uh, so you want to you want to tell us about those? Yeah. So, Fear the Spotlight is our first release coming yeah. later this year, and it really hits our mission statement. It's an amazing '90s horror experience. It's got great characters, a compelling narrative. It's also super creepy, and I think people will be big fans of it, even if you're not normally into horror. And quickly, actually, Fear the Spotlight is getting its first trailer as part of the yeah. Day of the Dev Showcase. So, stay tuned after the show. Directly after. Awesome. Well, I know this is just. Just the start, so we'll probably be seeing you in future years with more from uh, Blumhouse Games. But guys, what do you think of the slate? Pretty amazing, right? What these guys are pulling off. Jason, Luis, thanks so much for being here on Summer Games. Thank you, guys. All right. And now, here's the world premiere of a brand new Power Rangers game with a what? retro feel. Power Rangers is getting a new game? It's kind of unfortunate that Beta of the Grid didn't get uh, an update, though. All new action game? Oh, RG is gonna be enjoying this. RG is gonna enjoy this. RG is gonna enjoy this. And this looks like a multiplayer game. Yeah, this looks fun. This legit looks fun. Please tell me we can transform into Megazords. Okay. Yeah, this looks fun. Please, yeah. We get to pilot the Megazords. Nice. Nice. Wish this now. Adri's gonna enjoy this. Because he's a hardcore Power Ranger fan. Maybe I'll send that footage, the, the footage to him later. <laughs> now what do we have right over here? Still no sign of um, Sonic? Honkai Star Rail? Zenless Zone Zero and Phantom Blade Zero. Still no signs of those uh, of these games, and probably um, Monster Hunter Wilds. But still, it, it, it's got. But still. Street Fighter 6 um, having two characters from SNK, which are Terry and Vi, and then having Bison back and having him redesign. Holy shit, man. Even though I'm just a casual when it comes to fighting games, Season 2 looking good. What a beautiful game, Dear and Boy, which comes from first-time developer Jason Houdet in Paris, who started that project alone in 2020 during the pandemic and now has a team of eight helping him realize his vision with financial aid from the French government and games like that are why we do this show, giving first-time developers a chance to show you what they're working on.
All right, next, after a long wait, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 is arriving later this year. This is a first-person open-world action RPG from Warhorse Studios. Here is a brand new look. All right. The best laid plans of men. So far, the... This entire presentation Man is a 7 out of 10 at most. But God disposes. So far, it's a 7 out of 10 at most. And then boots you right in the balls. <laughs> These two young fellas Nothing mind blowing so far. One's a smart ass smith. Oh, wait, I just realized. And the other's a blue blooded fledgling. Are they going to announce a um, uh, show more at the ring over here? Gentlemen, I'm curious. praise be to our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, there are many sinners in this world. <laughs> Boy! In the end, we all face your judgment for what we should have done. But what did I just see? To do. The last time I ran away, I lost everything. I'm never gonna run from that fucker again. Kiss! Is this retribution for my sins? Okay. To the task. First person view. Come on. To the task. To the fucking task. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Okay. Next, we step into the dark mind of Silent Hill creator Keuchiro Toyama. So, Wait. Uh, back in 2021, we announced his new game, Slitterhead, at the Game Awards, and now we're giving you a look at the gameplay from his independent Tokyo based studio. Oh, okay. Because I, I was legit surprised that, wait, Jeff is going to announce a Konami game? But apparently not. Because, for those of you guys who didn't know, um, during the events in the Game Awards back in 2015, Konami prevented, or should I say, they banned um, Kojima from Receiving, receiving the the award for Metal Gear Solid 5 winning best action adventure for in, in the Game Awards, and it ended up being um, Kiva Sutherland receiving the award instead. So Jeff found out um, about this, and he somewhat probably. Uh, Oh. oh, you know what? I think it's best that you go, you, you guys, go search the video on what happened between um, Jeff and Konami. But, they, but then again, Konami deserved deserved it because of the of how Konami treated Kojima, and ever since then. Uh, do not, or should I say, do not expect a Konami game announcement from a Jeff Kili event. Never. Okay, what the hell is this? Either head. Okay. Now what do we have over here? That's what I call a dramatic entrance. There's a reason why I'm called Killer Bean. 
It's because I'm good at what I do. Really. Okay. Really. Good. Okay. I used to be an assassin for the Shadow Agency. An international organization powerful enough to shape the world. Until they lied to me and tried to kill me. Now, I'm gonna destroy them. <laughs> You're the gosh darn idiot who wants to take down the Shadow Agency! <laughs> Well, it is sure nice to meet you. Before you die. Duplex City, bitch. Did he literally just do do a spinneroony? Did he literally do a spinneroony? They made me who I am, and I will make them pay for it. Early access, summer 2024. Okay. Glad you liked that one. That was Killer Bean, a third-person roguelike shooter made by another single developer, believe it or not, right here. In that Los was Angeles. a single Jeff developer Lou, game? An animator on movies like The Matrix Holy Reloaded. Holy crap. Um, so fun it's amazing what can happen in this industry all right to introduce their brand new game please welcome from the game bakers a small independent studio in montpellier france audrey le prince and emmerich toa okay hello jeff everyone i'm very happy to be here when we created our studio emmerich and i we promised each other to always uh, come up with something new so after fury and haven Audrey, we to introduce CEO our new game, of the Game Bakers, Karen, okay. a survival climber. When I was a teenager, uh, my dad prepared an expedition to Mount K2, but half of his team didn't come back. And I've always wondered why do alpinists risk their lives in such extreme conditions? This is something we wanted to explore uh, in Cairn. Uh, Cairn is a game about what it takes to go beyond well. your limits. You climb a mountain to reach a summit never reached before. And the climbing gameplay is a challenge. It's very intense and realistic. It's a face-off between you and the mountain. And what you're going to see in the trailer is not from cutscenes. It's the actual climbing gameplay. <laughs> you can see more later today during Day of the Devs, but now let's have a look. Right, let's see what he got. Did she really camp on a freaking mountain? Okay. I'm not meant to be here. No idea why they get what they what those kids are. I'm a fighter. Are. I'm meant to be in the arena, in combat. But instead, 
I'm out here in the middle of the woods, running a tea shop. So, what does running a tea shop involve? Well, there's a lot of gardening. And I've had to get used to the pretty unique tea machine they've got here. None of these tasks are all that hard, they just take patience. And I'm not really the patient type. But I'm surviving. Of course, I have to actually serve the tea to our customers. And once that's done, I'll usually check in with Boro, the guy who owns the shop, to see if my help is needed anywhere. And when all the chores are done, sometimes I'll just sit on a bench and do absolutely nothing. It's not fighting, but it's peaceful. And what's weird is that I actually feel good. I'm happy. I can stop running now. I can stop. I can stop. I can stop running. This is good for me. I need to enjoy this. I feel good. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. That was Wonderstop, the announcement of the next game from Davey Redden, the creator of the Stanley Parable. I sense there's a twist coming, as you would expect, from him and Ivy Road. Cannot wait to play that. All right, now here's a look at the story trailer for Unknown 9 Awakening, a narrative action-adventure game that tells the story of Haruna, a young woman born with the ability to venture into the fold, a dimension that overlaps our own. Turn your thoughts inward wait, and focus Wait, my name is cool? Do you feel it? I do. Your progress is impressive lately, Aruna. These are incredible. They called themselves the Sahin. Nine among them were chosen and shielded from death. The Unknown Nine. Does this have anything to do with why Vincent is here? Humanity has lived for eons at the mercy of the Nine. It's time we took control of our own destiny. Why are you so interested in Vincent, anyhow? He killed someone I loved. I think I've seen this game announced Remember during the Game of Us last year. Find your target and bridge the gap. You don't belong here. You're wrong. This is exactly where I'm meant to be. Unknown Night Awakening. The Fold is a strange. I think I've seen this trailer announced in last year's yeah. The Game Awards. Session. Might be wrong. Hey! How about we see the world together? I finally have something, oh. something that I want to This will be an, coming on next Friday. Oh, Capcom Summer Deals. Hey, I might have to check. I might have to check my Steam later on. I wonder if um, the DLC is on sale. The Ada Wong DLC. Jama games. We're, we're one hour in, still, still no sign of um, taken for. Walks into my great hall. Still no sign of Honkai Star Rail. No sign of Xenazone Zero. No sign of Sonic. And no sign of um. Monster Hunter Wilds. Feel honored to fight a legend. <laughs> On guard. I won't be expecting any um, any announcement from Square Enix in some of Game Pass.
if there's any square in this announcement in this in this presentation I will lose my I might lose my goddamn mind. But then again it depends on which Final Fantasy they're gonna announce though. Announcement they're gonna show. And no, it's not gonna be Kingdom Hearts 4. Jeff literally deconfirmed um, during an interview session where the um, they will, he will not show Kingdom Hearts 4 in this presentation. And as a matter of fact, right, Kingdom Hearts 4 will not be released until like what? Sometime around 2026 or 2027. Alright, we're back here live for more Summer Game Fest. The first Descendant, powered by Unreal Engine 5, is a next-gen looter shooter with dynamic oh, cooperative no, gameplay, not... including a grappling hook mechanic. It is finally set for release, and we're very happy here to debut the new trailer and the reveal of the release date. Did anyone ask for this? Oh, so this was one of the games that I... S that was shown during um, Jeff's trailer. But like I said, pretty visuals um doesn't really uh doesn't really matter anymore if the the gameplay sucks. These are all trailer footages, not really gameplay. Oh, so it was he it was this game. July second, that's next month. Oh, Joy's that back. looks awesome. The first Descendant will be available across PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam. Wishlist it now and prepare for the release on July 2nd. And now, please welcome two developers whose hit indie game, Among Us, took the world by storm and a couple of game awards. <laughs> From Inner Sloth, here are Victoria Tran and Forrest Willard. Okay. From the guys who develop um, <laughs> Among Us. What's up, oh. gamers? Yeah! <laughs> can, you, can you believe they just let us be on this stage? Like, no chaperones. Like, I know. Can we announce something totally fake? Oh, do you, do like, you think they'll let us do that? Among Us 2? Among Us 3? 4? Oh, all right. Well, turns out we actually have something very real we wanted to present to you all today. Uh, there's been so many great indie games in recent years, but it's also been a se no secret that it's kind of a rough time in the industry. Some devs don't really get the chance they deserve, so we thought we could help out a little bit. That's why we're excited to announce our side project, Outer Sloth, an indie game fund we made that offers the kind of deals we would have wanted back in our less popular Among E days. This is our way of saying thank you to our crewmates, players, peers, by helping some games and devs have the funding and freedom needed to ship their games. And then we all get to play them, which was the real plan. I, I really want games. <laughs> Outer Sloth is our passion project and dream for a better, more sustainable industry. We are really excited 
and incredibly, incredibly nervous <laughs> to reveal it here and show you the current lineup of games we've managed to fund because of you. And don't worry, Jeff, it has your favorite, a ton of world premieres. Enjoy! <laughs> From the guys who brought you um, Among Us. Hi, I'm Ian from Shapeshot, and you may already be playing our first game, Mars First Logistics. We are Trinket Studios, creators of Battle Chef Brigade, and this is our card battler RPG, Battle Suit Aces. More indie games. And we're making the Marsfield Archives a game about building and exploring connections. Hi, we're Midnight Munches. We just released a demo for One Button Bosses, our boss rush game with a single button to press and a ton of bosses to beat. Hey, I'm Husband, game director at Huscrofts, and this is Rogue Eclipse, our epic spaceflight action roguelike. They're really showcasing a, a lot of indie games over so we'll here. Take on merciless armadas and vanquish a fleet of colossal super destroyers. And we do have one more game that's very early in development. Hi, I'm Eka, creative director of Outer Loop Games, makers of Thirsty Suitors and Falcon Age. In our new game, explore the world in an upgradable mech and cook up tasty dishes for local communities. Project Dosa. Light off corpos, discover new dosa recipes, and reunite with your strange loved ones for one last meal. Project Dosa is a game about life, death, love, and food for the soul. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Victoria and Forrest. Those all look fantastic, and I cannot wait to play them. But all of those amazing indie games aren't the only thing coming out of Inner Sloth. Did you know that there's going to be an Among Us TV show? <laughs> Sounds like you did. Yes, there's going to be an Among Us TV show. Check out this sneak peek. <laughs> Up next, we have Sonic X Shadow Generations. Oh! People are gonna lose their goddamn minds. Hit collection of 3D and 2D levels from Sonic People and Shadow. People are gonna lose their goddamn minds when they see this. Now it's time for a glimpse of Shadow's brand new powers and gameplay from a standalone campaign, as well as the official release date announcement. Okay. Will Shadow be voiced by Keanu Reeves, though? I guess not. And anti heroes. Yep, Shadow. Three Hedgehogs? Sonic? Shadow? Two Epic Avengers? One ultimate collection. Okay, so this is a collection. I will overcome every obstacle with this power. October twenty fifth. Okay. Oh, so there's two different versions of Sony. Okay. The Year of Shadow, right? A movie coming in December too. Exciting stuff. All right. Yep. 
In the upcoming online survival game, Dune Awakening from Funcom, there is one small decision that unleashed a chain of events which set the stage for the story the player will experience. Let's find out for the first time what that is. Right. The only peace I find is a future that never happened. One where I, Paul Atreides, was never born. I created the future. Until it created me. But I see a narrow way. A path that might have been. What if my mother had obeyed her orders and given birth to a girl? Everything would change. Dr. Yue exposed before his betrayal. A world where my father lives. House Atreides surviving the Battle of Arakeen. Sardaukar deployed to protect the Spice Melange. A war of assassins spreading across the planet. Fremen... exterminated. No, Muad'Dib. No, Lizan Al Ghaib. Lizan Al Ghaib. All of my visions lead to horror, except for this one. This one leads to you. More Dune Awakening coming at Gamescom ONL in August. Now it oh, is time Gamescom to see the August. announcement of another new game from a brand new development studio. All right. What's this? If you tell me that this is enemy, I would have believed you. Because this animation looks sick. The animation looks sick, I will say this. Battle Aces. Okay. To tell us more about Battle Aces and show you the gameplay, here's David Kim from Uncapped Games. Thanks, Jeff. Okay. So Battle Aces is the RTS game for everyone. It's for players that are brand new to RTS as well as RTS veterans. We really want to bring the core fun of RTS to everybody, kind of like how games such as World of Warcraft did for MMOs, or Hearthstone did for card games. So Battle Aces is an action-packed army versus army game that has a high emphasis on the strategy. We want to bring this type of very specific oh, RTS fun to players in two major ways. First, we want to amplify both the in and out of game strategizing through unit decks. And what makes unit decks very cool is not only will players be able to define the exact way that they wish to play, but also players will be able to experience an endless uh, possibility of strategies. Second, we want to eliminate the tedious clicks required to play an RTS as much as possible so that players playing this game are experiencing only the fun parts of playing an RTS game. So if you want to learn more about Battle Aces or if you want to sign up for our beta test that's coming up very soon, then please uh, make sure to visit our website at playbattleaces.com. Thank you. Thank you, David. That was fantastic. All right. Our next premiere unveils the exciting new destination for a game that Shadow dropped at the Game Awards last year, The Finals, with its unparalleled destruction 
wrapped in the world's most deadly game show. Now, after dozens of updates and two seasons, we're unveiling where contestants will be going in the all-new season starting next week on June 13th. Sharpen your katanas and welcome to season three of the finals. If they hit that reset button, it can take us anywhere. I thought he was about to show his Naraka for a moment. Okay. Next. The finals in Kyoto. All right. Please welcome multiple Game Awards winner and a dazzling Game Awards performer, if I do say so myself, Sam Lake from Remedy. Wait. We getting update for Island Wake Two? And he's doing the dance. I think that's enough. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. You see, this is now the only way they let me come on stage to tell you something exciting. News about Alan Wake 2. Please. Many of you have been posting your Remedy Game collection pictures on your shelves with Alan Wake 2 so far digital only, sadly missing. Well, we are excited to announce physical deluxe editions and physical collector's editions for Alan Wake 2 coming this fall. You can lock in your copy starting tomorrow. Next, Question. we promised you some expansion content for oh, Alan Wake DLC. 2, right? I'm thrilled to introduce DLC. you all to Night Springs. Alan Wake to Night Springs? It contains three episodes with three familiar, fan-favorite, playable characters in mysterious, terrifying, and quirky what-if scenarios. Oh, it was it's a, a what-if situation. It was to really go out there as if we already didn't. <laughs> Night Springs will be playable tonight in less than 24 hours. Wow. Tomorrow. Wow. Thank you. Now, with this world premiere, I invite you to step into Night Springs. It's kind it's kind of unfortunate that Night Alan Spring. Wake 2 is a, a, space. Is a Epic Games is Store a exclusive game though, unfortunately. Different every time we set upon the road that leads us there. Which is why to me, ex game exclusivity is kind of suck. Night I just kind of wish that the game would be... I'm in danger. Please, my number one I could have wish the game would be available uh, on Steam to be made with you guys. For you, my love. What the hell? Cut. Sean, I'm really happy. This is gonna get strange. I was the only one who could save the writer and the very soul of literature. Okay. Something was different. She played with characters. Damn! That trigger finger though. I have a shotgun. Well, I got a. Wait, is that. That's a real shotgun? Who can ever truly know how deep the rabbit hole? 
goes exclusive to deluxe edition available well technically it's available in, 20, in 12 hours of time they've come to these mythical shores isn't this the game that Max tried out a few weeks ago that one that one souls like game I forgot the name of the I forgot the name though but oh wait maybe not maybe not maybe not maybe not my bad this is a multiplayer game I thought it was that one Souls game that Max played a few weeks ago. But then again, the game is... Wait, the game is... Early Access? Is Eternum. Oh, Newer Eternum. Wrong game, sorry. Wrong game. That's right, New World, New World Eternum will launch on PS5, Oops, Xbox hiccup. Series X and S and PC on October 15th. And now you can play the game start to finish as a solo player or play co-op and use cross-play as well. If you're watching SGF on TikTok Live right now, you can comment HSR in the chat to claim a special in-game bundle for Honkai Star Rail. It's live on TikTok as well. Jade from TikTok Game Rewards. And speaking of Honkai Star Rail, oh! Hoyoverse's latest space fantasy RPG just concluded its version 2.3 special program a few hours ago. Yep. But there's more. A sneak peek at the upcoming ex expedition featuring a beloved character who is clearly ready for the forthcoming journey with her brand new look. Wait. Why do people choose to sleep? It's because they're afraid to wake up. From they're revealing a trailer for Honka Tavia in Summer Game Fest? Everything is possible in this land of dreams. And there's Pyrofly's voice, by the way. Aventurine. Akron. The nightmarish past will disappear. Robin. And fade away like bubbles in water. And the future Jade. will be you. The face will never come. Henshin! Michael Jackson! Wow! That's such a cool shot! That is such a cool shot! Firefly teaming up with... Um... Oh my god, this is so cool! Oh my god, this is so cool! This is such a nice shot! Wow! Oh my god, Firefly. In the end, we will wake from our dreams. Oh my god, that's such a cool moment, man. <gasps> oh. Flash. Ah! What? What? Whoa, 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 what the hell was that? What the hell is that? Are we finally getting alternate outfits for, for character? Okay, once... This presentation is over. I'm running that trailer one more time. Buddy, what the hell was that? What the hell was that? And as a matter of fact, I've been expecting um, an announcement for Zealous Don't Zero though, but... So far, nothing. Oh, please do not tell me that... Um... Uh, it was... Um, Jeff only allow like what one one game for per studio. It's kind of weird though. But then again, does that mean there won't be any Monster Hunter in this presentation? Because Capcom announced a new um, trailer for Street Fighter though. Hmm. Now I'm kind of curious. I'm kind of curious. Will they be showing Monster Hunter in this, in this presentation? 
And there you have it, the Unforgiving Fantasy FPS Dungeon PvPVE Adventure Dark and Darker is now live on both Steam and Epic Game Store today. So play it this weekend. All right. Lots of fans are joining us here in person at the YouTube Theater, and we thank you for that. And ahead of the show, four lucky fans were upgraded to our VIP section thanks to the Discover Orange Ticket Upgrade. With Discover, you don't have to be a VIP to be treated like one. All right, now here's the announcement of the release date for Capcom's upcoming Kunitsugami Path of the Goddess. Huh. Well, that, that's another... Um, that's another Capcom game announcement trailer or news. I'm guessing it'll be Fall. Yeah, this is practically a defend a tower defense kind of a game. I and as a matter of fact, I, I don't I didn't expect um any news from part of the goddess as a matter of fact. But then again, from what I heard. Capcom's um, expectation for for this year's sales is pretty high, from what I heard. Ha! Huh. Next month. I was expecting it before, but turns out it's gonna be next month. Okay, what do we have? Okay, so that's another another trailer that I have to react. And I believe we have like what, 30 minutes left? Okay, so there's two... Um, two trailers. And to be real, I kind of wish I... Um, I kind of wish um, Elevate 2 is available on Steam, but then again, exclusivity. Exclusive, um, exclusivity well, by um, freaking at the game store. Ah! More enable crossing? This is a fun. Oh, was it party animals? I forgot. Oh wait, Animals Crossing is the other game. This is Party Animals. I'm sorry. My bad, my bad, my bad. I'm not a multiplayer gamer, okay? Please. Huh? Bro. In all kinds of game modes. So, long story short, Party Animal getting more updates. Meat? Huh? Wait, 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 what? 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 What the hell did I just see? What the hell did I just see? about the fine people here at Amcorp. So we wanted to take this time to dispel any of these completely unfounded rumors and allegations and reassure you that things here at Amcorp and the city of San Vansterdam have never been better. Things are going great for you. We have absolutely nothing to hide from the citizens. Everybody here at Amcorp loves this town. We think this town rules. Why would we hear a town that rules? I can't stop thinking about how you're saying we're selling the city for scraps. That makes me sick. That makes my whole family sick to their stomachs. My wife hasn't been on the toilet for weeks because of what you're saying about what M Corp's doing to this town, all those lies. Everyone at M Corp is really good. Stop crying, all right? This is business. Look around, pal. This is how businesses are run. Now, you should have known that when you were hired on, okay? Jack, tissues, come on, pal. This reminds me of episode one of uh, Zombie 100. That's not about this. That's a, that's a father and son. That's actually a home issue. We love it here at M Corp, and we 
are not going anywhere. We'll be here a long time. Uh... Uh, All what right. the hell? Uh, welcome back to Summer Game Fest, and now let's head to Sam. What Van the hell is that? For a new look at Skate from EA. Hey, Jeff, how you doing, bud? Oh, crap. Some really bad stuff's happening out there. They're gonna need a lot of help cleaning that up. That's bad. So, they're trying to do a Tony Hawk Pro Skater kind of a game. Very exciting that people will next! finally be able to play skate on console in the near future. Next! Our next world premiere is an indie sensation from Japan that is adorable, deadly, and has over 25 million players worldwide. Wait. That's right. I'm oh, talking about hello. Power World. Okay. I mean, just look at the giant depresso. Cheer up, buddy. It's Summer Game Fest. <laughs> now, here is the first major update announcement. A whole new island is coming. Pocket Pepisans. Yeah, this game blew up during the during the first half of um, Team 24 from what I heard, and there were there were sources saying that this game uses um, AI. <laughs> because some of the the monster design over here. Kind of resembles uh, some of the, the the design in Pokemon, but then, but regardless, I have absolute um, zero interest in playing this game because it's just not part of my wheelhouse. Just saying, but I'm just I'm glad that it it's well received. I'm just not a multiplayer kind of a gamer, man. I'm more of a lone wolf um, player. Sakurajima update, 27 June 2024. That was high on the Steam charts. Uh, congrats to uh, Power World on the new update. Next up, we've got a big announcement from Valorant. Here's Andy Ho and Anar Gilfeson from the Valorant dev team. Guys. Valorant getting updates. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Hey, everyone. Since 2020, we have been fortunate to serve players in their pursuit of what we call the Valorant moment. The big plays and clutches you make while all eyes are on you. Millions of players all over the world have earned their own Valor moments on PC. And today, the stage is set to welcome a whole new group of players. Let's take a look. Okay. I assume new characters for Valorant. Even though I don't really play number one, I don't really I don't play Valorant. And number two, I don't think these are. Uh, no 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 no. Uh, I'll shut up. I'll shut up for now. Cage trigger. 
These are definitely new characters. These are definitely brand new characters from the way I see it. Yep, from the look of things, relevant is getting a big update. Coming to console. Wait, so Valorant has been on PC all this stuff. What? Okay. That was Valorant's core tactical gameplay. Everything you just saw was captured on console and with a controller. Valorant is coming to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S this year. Our limited beta starts June 14th, ah, and you can sign up right so now they are, at beta. So they're existing characters, but the we entire so gameplay is captured on to make sure that Valorant on plays great on PlayStation console. 5. And we hope to see you soon in the limited beta. But before we go, here's the head of Valorant Studio, Anna Donlin. Thanks, guys. Hey, everyone. One of my favorite things about Valorant has been seeing the community build the game and the sport right along with us. For the last four years, we have been on the most amazing journey, bringing Valorant to players all around the world, most recently to China, where I'm currently at Valorant Masters, one of our largest global tournaments and community celebrations. Seeing the community evolve as new players bring their passion and expression to Valorant has been the biggest joy of the ride so far. And now we are ready and so, so excited to welcome a whole new group of players onto new platforms. We hope you'll join us and we can't wait to see where you take us next. All right, Jeff, what you got next? Exciting to have Riot on console with Valorant. Thanks for the team at thanks to the team at Riot for sharing Wait, that with us here at SGF. Nice. Our next announcement is a big deal from our friends at DoorDash. Five weeks of deals with Summer of Dash Pass. Um, Sign up for Dash no Pass announcement now for two X delivery fees and get fifty percent off your next DoorDash huh. order. Now, here in the audience, we've got a guy who is normally co-streaming our shows, Yang Ya, who is also an amazing voice actor, who's been in countless games such as uh, Like a Dragon and God of War Ragnarok. Well, next week, Yang is going to be voicing a character in a movie, Inside Out 2, where he plays a fictional video game character, Lance Slashblade. And we've got your exclusive first look. Check this out. Welcome. To your eternal fate. Oh, man, Slashblade? But he's a video game character. Why is he here? Yeah, I always thought Riley had a secret crush on him. I never saw the appeal. I long to be a hero, but darkness haunts my past. Oh, I'm I in a hundred percent. We were all banished here, deemed unfit, worthless. <gasps> Don't you dare say that. You do not deserve to be thrown away. Uh, one second, Lance. Don't you remember his power move? I'm coming for you, Riley! Oh, yeah? Watch this! Come on! No one is totally worthless. But I am a warrior cursed with a feeble attack. Then you must make your curse your gift. Shield yourself, my friends, for I shall set you all free! <laughs> The number one gaming monitor brand in the U.S., Samsung, just released new 2024 monitors for gaming, work, and entertainment. Scan the QR code now to get up to $300 Samsung credit when you purchase through June 17th, plus a chance to win $5,000 Samsung credit for U.S. residents. All right, please join me in welcoming to the SGF stage Monster Hunter series producer, oh. Mr. Riozo Tujimoto. Riozo-san! Hi, thank you, Jay. え、今日はですね、え、モンスターハンターワイルズの
大型のモンスターも出てきてますのでそちらも注目していただけたらと思います Thank you, Jeff. Hello, everyone. We prepared a very special trailer today for Summer Game Fest. I want everyone to be on the lookout for a very mysterious large monster near the end of the trailer, as it's an important monster within the game. Hi, we'll be getting a release date. This time, or is this going to be purely gameplay trailer? Monster Hunter Wild is a 2025 年に PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X. S、そして PC で同時発売となりますまた今回はですね、えー、プラットフォームの垣根を越えて一緒に遊ぶことができますのでそちらも楽しんでいただけたらと思っています As you'll see we're working to deliver a gaming experience that, emer that merges immersion and action I hope players look forward to playing with their friends across different platforms when the game launches simultaneously in 2025 On PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. Hi, a Saigo in Arimas Ga, a Hatchigat in the Okonai Games Con, no opening night live. Cotira no Ho, the Bakatras, the Ozo, Motikimas, no de, Nyasan, Tausin, is more information on the Games Con, there, this ne, Hatsno, playable no, the Kiriona, a Katachi, the Shutemo, Kangai Tosu, Olimas, no de, so she ramo, the Hit, Tausin, is the Tadakata, to Motemas. Okay, so what's going to be happening at Gamescom? There will be a new trailer for Monster Hunter Wilds at opening night live at Gamescom in August. Okay. And our first public hands-on playable demo of Monster Hunter Wilds will Ooh, also be demo. at Gamescom. Thank you. Unfortunately, demo only available at Gamescom. Alright. Gameplay already? Watch out for that clock! I will draw a tire! Cover me! You got it! Be careful! Be ready! If we can make it to the rocks, we may lose them! Oh dear! Quicksand! Oh dear! I'll handle it. You find someplace safe. Thank you. Ow. Yeah, ju judging from this gameplay trailer itself, looks like you'll be. Um, doing most of the exploring at the desert. Official or no, uh, release date yet? Thank you, Riosa Sun. We will see you at Gamescom in August. Now, during last year's PlayStation Showcase, the game Phantom Blade Zero. Oh, finally! Us all with its I was wondering what what what, 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 what about art. Phantom Blade Zero? Well, I'm honored to share with you the brand new trailer for the game, featuring all real gameplay. Here's our final game of the show, Phantom Blade oh. Zero. Final game? Which means no announcement for Zelda's Dawn Zero? Anyway, let, anyhow, let's check out the, this new gameplay trailer. For, this trailer for Zelda's. I'm sorry, for Phantom Blade Zero. Because I believe this was announced last year? Or was it early this year? Oh, UI. Don't go up there. Turn back. Before it's too late. Bro. Animal, animal abuse. No, 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 no. Finally, there's UI. Oh, 
Okay. This looks like a combination of oh, no, 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 no. This looks like a combination of a Souls game and a hack and slash game. Yeah. Yeah, it looks more like a Souls game though from the way I see it. Whoa. And that's even QTE? Oh dear. Twenty twenty four World Tour demo. Oh, okay. No, no announcement release date, but that looks so good. Full demo that Media looks will be good. playing this weekend. Still so hear much more about that, and that's gonna do it for our Summer Game Fest live show. Oh, thanks to Joy for joining us. Thank you, Jeff. I had such an amazing time. Happy Summer Game Fest, everyone. Thanks, Joy. And we have so much more, so stay tuned because Day of the Devs is coming up live right now on the stream featuring an hour of indie game reveals, including the next game from Cappy, and that's followed by Devolver Direct. Now, keep checking SummerGameFest.com for other event streams this weekend, and we'll see you again live this August 20th in Germany for Gamescom Opening Night Live. Thanks for watching, everyone. Remember, Day of the Devs starts right now. All right, August 20th, mark your dates. And I believe that's the end of the Summer Game Fest presentation.